and we get a pair. All right, we will grab everything apart from totem face here. Start off with those two. Then we will uh, grab Banga. Early two star hog rider. That's nice. so we don't miss him. There he is. No items, unfortunately. Uh, yes, we grab the pair. And the warrior combo is always good as well. So let's chuck that out there. And we will grab the unicorn cavalry and the frost lotus as well. Ranking them from left to right in uh, what I'm most likely to keep at this stage. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Okay. All right, there's an item. We get some armor. I'll pop that on Bangar. Grab the Frost Lotus. So I always, I like using uh, Banga as an early item carrier because I 100% all of the time sell him off before I get to my end game comps. Then I get my items back to put them on end game heroes that I really want them on. Uh, we will grab both of those. I'm going to sell off those two so I can level. Uh, and we're going to go Riders. We won't go... Two riders. We won't go the uh, the other ferry. We'll chuck a couple of riders out there. Set up like that. There was a pair of Moonlight Dragons, but it's just not not something I was going to use. So that's I think what I did was uh, a little bit better in terms of the the compositions. You can't see anything luck. Try reloading the stream. It might be a technical difficulty on my end. Let me just refresh my uh, my Twitch page. Let me see if I can see the video. Hang on a second. Oh, it does actually say, no, it says I'm online. What have we got? I've got video, so I think it's an issue on your end luck. Sorry about that. I'm not entirely sure what that is, what's happening, but if you give your page a refresh or your app a refresh if you're using your app that should help um i'll grab the witch doctor we'll grab the ever bloom as well if we win oh Okay, we matched up against the person at uh, DC, which is really, really lucky for us. So we do get the wins. Let's grab the Everbloom, just in case we get that Druid combo, get the second Witch Doctor. We can sell him for a profit. One crystal. I love it. Need all the crystals I can get. All right, what do we get this shot? Can we get a two-star? Ooh. All right, we definitely can get a two-star. Um, I actually am now going to sell those back again so we can level. Throw out Scourge into the fray. Mix up our positioning a little bit here. That looks good. Just running a whole bunch of tanks at this stage. Actually, I should look to uh, get Famine out there so we pick up Undead Combo too. That's a mistake on my behalf. We don't need three, uh, three riders out there. So I think that's the play. It hasn't cost us any wins yet. This one is going to be close though. 
real close. In fact, I think, it's, I think this will be a loss. Oh, so, so close. All right, so we move down the leaderboard there. Unfortunate timing too. There's a three-star famine and another warrior. So here we look at doing what? I don't have beast combo, so we can do that. I also don't need... Well, actually, I don't want that many demons out there now. So we will set up like that. And I will sell off Scourge. Because Warriors are looking like it's going to be the, the way we go. Although, maybe I should have looked at that before I sold off Scourge, to be honest. Uh, we will definitely give that armor to the Executioner. Executioner is a very valuable piece. Really nice to pick him up in round seven, actually. Uh, I want that Undead Warlock, too. Ooh, that way, if we transition away from Riders, we still have our Undead combo, and we can still look for... Um, still look to use... Oh, maybe I just do get rid of Riders now. We can level again. Let's do that. Try and stay on a win streak as we did just take a loss before the creep round. Super aggressive with our economy, but once again, leveling to eight means we have an even better chance of finding the elite warriors that we need to finish our composition before all of our, or everyone else that's building warriors. We're now going to have a better chance of finding General of War, better chance of finding Kraken and Berserker as well. Doesn't mean they'll show up straight away. I'm gonna spin one time. There is a very useful piece. Thank you kindly. We are one warrior away from getting six warriors, which is fantastic. Um, I kind of want the warlock because now we're not getting interest. I'll do that as well. That just gives us warlock buff once we get to level 9, and it'll give us uh, beasts as well, beast buff. Can we continue the win streaks? Yes! Which is great, it means we don't have to spend as much on refreshing the store, which means we can get to level 10 sooner, which means we have even more of an advantage. All right, we definitely, definitely want that. Not going to be able to level just yet. All right, that positioning is fine. Oh, actually, I'll grab um, Everbloom as well so we can do the little Prophet combo as she's a druid. We'll do that next next turn. That's fine. Can we maintain our win streak? I think we've got this too. The elite warriors are carrying us through. Even though they're only one star's misfortune as well, they're just putting in a ton of work. So that's great for us. Win streak into the creep round is always great. There's a two star, which is always great. Let's go ahead and generate our one coin profit there and sell those off. Uh, which means we'll be able to, or it's, it's got us to 30, so we get that extra interest. And we'll be able to level to 9 after the wolves. And then we can be a little bit more aggressive with spinning and try and get to level 10 by round 15. No one else has 6 warriors yet. Number one play does have uh, pretty solid combos, though. Definitely not going to be an easy game, but uh, I think we're in with a decent chance to do well. Can we get some solid items here? That would be very nice. We haven't had tons of item luck so far this game. Uh, the Tome is nice. I'm going to save that for now. And 
save that for now as well. Maybe for General of War. Although, no, actually, I will give Misfortune a tone. We'll save the armor for General of War once we find him. Laura on YouTube this time around. Welcome to the stream. Oh, there, just in time. Uh, so let's go ahead and level so we can throw him straight in. Give him the armor. That was perfect timing. I'm actually going to sell off Fire Fur now so we can get our uh, Warlock combo happening as well. Set up like that and... I will spend a little bit on trying to find two star. Oh, oh, so close. I just had to do that a little bit quicker. Hopefully we still win this one. We don't lose our, our win streak here. The two star executioner certainly would have helped. So essentially at this point, we're looking for werewolf to replace Bangar. Oh, I'm not sure that the two star executioner would have won us that anyway, to be honest. We did match up against the number one player. They've got a solid, solid lineup at this stage. Uh, we are looking for Kraken as well, of course, as per usual. So we do just level up both of those, which is great. Um, I'm going to... Do I want to set up this? Pop him there. That's fine. We'll do that. Um, let's spin... Uh, I think I actually want the Voodoo Elder over the Beast Warlock. Because Werewolf will give us Beast Combo, but this will give us Goblin Combo. And goblin Combo is going to be really nice. Can we get this win? I think we got the win here. We just shut down Ark. Alright, so we will replace our Marsh. Uh, Eternal, welcome to the stream. Eternal on Twitch. I am doing a multi-stream. We're, we're doing a little experiment today. I'm actually streaming to five platforms at once. YouTube, Twitch, DLive, Mixer, and Nemo TV. So um, just trying to experiment with some audiences. Definitely trying to... I think Nemo TV is a little bit more popular in Indonesia as well. I would love to get a little bit more entry into the Indonesian market if, uh, if I can get that happening at all. Uh, we'll spin once here. Not gonna. I wish I had locked the chessboard. Uh, no, I will grab him and we'll spin one more time. One more time. All right, we'll we'll hold there. Hold there. Uh Well, it depends on the partnering agreements with each platform. So technically, once you're a partner on Twitch, you uh you can't. They don't want you. They want exclusive uh, rights, essentially. So depends on the the way your money making is set up. But I'm not partnered with anyone at this point in time. I'm just making money based on uh, ads on regular YouTube videos and donations if they occur, which they're certainly not expected. So uh, oh, Nemo's mostly mobile legend streamers at this point in time. Well, maybe. Oh, there's Werewolf. So let's go ahead and uh, replace Banger. Maybe I'm. Uh, it can be a chess rush market leader into the Nemo marketplace. Let's upgrade that General of War two star there, and we will then hold to try and level to try and level uh, after creeps. NBA Live Mobile Season Four is coming. Yes, I have heard a little bit about that Ultimate Jelly Gaming, and I will definitely be checking out. Season 4 when it drops. I'll probably do a uh, first impressions live stream similar to what I did for Madden Mobile Season 6 when that dropped last week. Uh, so definitely keep your eyes out on that. We just got mashed up against the number one player again and we took another owl, another chunk of health. Although, although, that executioner, that executioner, it's not going to be enough, I don't think. But it was close. Yeah, so Eternal, I'm using a platform called Restream, and it's actually, it's allowing me to do all this for free, which is incredible. And, uh, yeah, I'll just hold there. Um, so it allows me to do all this for free, and it has a little chat bot in it, which you can turn on cross, 
platform messaging. Obviously, it has a slightly different format, and it doesn't work ac across all of them, but it does have a little bit of a, uh, a guide there so that if there are people chatting across platforms, they can see what each other's saying. I have to figure out the best way to show... I like showing comments on stream so that... Um, if I'm showing highlights or whatever after the fact, people understand what I'm talking about because they can see the comments on the on the video overlay. But the restream chat uh, is a little bit strange in terms of the styling, so I need to sort that out before I re-implement that. And I was also showing alerts, Twitch alerts. Uh, life when the shadow taketh away. How do I? Okay, now we just throw Kraken straight in here. She's gonna go right there. Alright, now we spin. Alright, we will lock that store absolutely. Absolutely lock that store. Yeah, so there's still a couple of things I need to sort out with this setup. But um, it is working quite well. The other platform I would like to stream to is Facebook Gaming. But... Uh, you do need a paid, if you if you want to stream to a, a Facebook page, which I would like, you do need a paid uh, version of Restream. So I'll give this, this a little test for a while, and if it's good, I will pay for it. Um, I have no problems paying for services that I enjoy using. Um, what are we using Guru on here? We don't actually need to use him at all yet because of how much health we currently have. So we will be a little bit patient. Any assassins that I have to worry about? There's one assassin. We'll uh, readjust my positioning a little bit more in a second when I've got some more time. There's that one assassin, two-star bionic ninja. So has he got, he does have full cyborg in here. He's got a two-star Joey and a one-star Terminator. So this will be a tough matchup for us. You can see there that he just shredded me and I lost on this board as well. So it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I think Berserker will be the play, but I don't have to rush it just yet. Uh, I really want that Undead Sorcerer to replace Famine too, to be honest. And actually, until I can two-star Kraken, I'm going to frontline him. That's good. Um, now we go Berserker. Alright, we just have to hope we get a little bit lucky with RNG here. But we're definitely not favoured to win this one. So, we're going to need a bit of... Uh... Oh, that was massive. Those, those sorcerers shredded us. That might be... No, not quite enough to kill us. But, uh... oh, you know what? You know what? It's going to be another close one. We might be able to take out this three-star ice tusk. Woo, we just get... So we might actually be favoured over uh, the number one play here. But it's possible that the, the person down in third just comes back and wins all of this anyway. Here's another jelly. I think that might be for uh, misfortune. We can't really afford to keep waiting around at this point. That, that position is good. I mean, they jump away. I don't understand the way that uh, some of the melee units jump away from uh, the the assassins anyway. Yeah, I think I'll move Berserker over to the left-hand side. So he's closer to the assassin here. This is definitely a lot closer, but that Terminator ult is going to be big. Can we clutch this out? Ooh, we might be able to here. It's going to be close. Come on, Berserker. Stay alive. Yes. We do manage to clutch out that victory. That was very big for us. You know, I like... So this is my, my thinking, is I really like having this T position because all of these three heroes attack the hero directly in front. And you'll see that when this uh, fire golem jumps forward, these three are going to go bang, bang, bang. 
And uh, But I think in terms of keeping him alive for longer, I will move him to the side shortly. Uh, I will do that as soon as I have my next prep. Really want to two-star that Kraken as well. Alright, can we get a little bit of luck in this shop? Can we find a couple of Krakens? One of them is running Kraken, but the other one isn't. Let's do that with Berserker. There's a Guru, that's nice. Grab that Druid as well, actually, just in case we find a second Guru. That's great. Uh, no, I don't want that. Uh, sell that so I can grab that and do that real quick, just in time. I think that may be important in staying alive at this point. It is very, very tight. My formation reminds me of an American football formation. It actually does kind of look like that. An offensive line. You've got your, uh, your tackles out to the side. I don't know all the terminology super well. Okay. The upgrades have worked wonders for us there. We win on our board, we lose on that board. Interesting. Uh, but we are definitely favoured against... We've moved into number one. Let's hope that uh, these two eliminate each other. St that sideboard build still may just win the whole thing. Hanging around on two health. All right, one more Kraken, please. Never be able to look away. 29 health. I don't have to force it. We can wait. We can be patient and wait. So who's the quarterback in uh, in this? The Kraken? Kraken the quarterback? She's the quarterback of every build, right? Yeah, this is much better to uh, lure that assassin into that little trap. Oof, that Joey explosion, though. The stun as well. We need to put in... I think, actually, we're looking really good now against both opponents. Okay. Spread out even more. All right. Go ahead and grab those first. Now we can frontline Kraken. We will set up like that, I think. We'll see how that works for us. That's pretty spread. Oh, we need to get a little bit of luck here with the... Uh, we do not want those Sorks or double casting their ultimates. All right, does he... How many humans is, is he actually running? Oh, he's actually been eliminated from the game. Fantastic. He was running six humans, so... Oh, yes! We got it done. Fantastic. Slowly, slowly getting closer to King. Queen 7, 138 points. That was a solid win.